if you're trying to build a successful music career and you're doubting yourself, this video is for you. I get it. I understand how hard it is. I'm building it. And even though I'm at a point now where I'm more successful than I was a year ago, and even though I'm at a point now where I'm more successful than I was 10 years ago, the build doesn't stop. And I've realized a key lesson today, and I want to share it with you. You have to have more conviction in the people you're trying to help than they have in themselves. If you're a music artist, you might be like, what do you mean by that? How does that work? If you're a music artist, you have fans. You have people who listen to your music. You have people who actually care about your message. You have people who want to see you succeed. Because they're living vicariously through you. Think about your favorite artist. When you see your favorite artist, think of who it is right now. You admire them, right? You look at them as somebody that you might want to be like. Hopefully. Nowadays, we got artists. I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. But they have elements of things that you admire. You would hope. If you're an artist right now watching this, if you're a music producer, even, I can understand how difficult the journey is, right? You probably went through points in your career where you wanted to give up and just be like, bro, maybe you did give up. Maybe you did end up getting that job, but you're not giving up on your music. You're just like, hey, I'm going to give up on this path right now for a hot second. I'm going to give up on the full-time music thing. I'm going to go get a job, do what I got to do for the time being. Maybe you've been letting your music slip. I mean, you still make music, right? But like, do you? You still have the dream, right? Let's see, I'm, I'm, I'm sparking some ideas, right? I remember when a few years ago, let's see, what year was this? 2022. Oh, it's so not, even, not even a few years ago. It was last year. In 2022, like the beginning... I had kind of veered off the music path. So I was like doing the, I mean, I've been doing music hard for a long time, but I was like, you know what? I need to make money, but I don't want to go get a nine to five. So I'm going to try this whole SMMA thing, social media marketing agency. It's one of the, it was one of the fad hustles, side hustles, whatever you want to call it. So I did that. Like I went, I went all in on that and did that. I built uh, an SMMA for real estate agents, did not even okay. Like I had made some sales, but like it didn't end up working out. Then I ended up being what's called a high ticket closer, which means I was a sales, you call it a sales rep or a closer for another SMMA in the real estate space, in the real estate space. Um, and it was really great because I learned sales and the person I work for is an incredible person. And it just didn't end up working out in the end, which was totally fine. No hard feelings between either one of us, of course. Uh, it just wasn't what I wanted to do. And it wasn't, it wasn't working out. And when I had, when I had quit that job, I was lost because I thought, man, like I, I, I like I, I, it hit me. I said, man, I really veered off the music path. Like I went a little too far off. But those skills that I learned doing, you know, SMMA and high ticket closing and all these types of things, has helped me so much in what I'm currently doing, which is building my Rapid Fire Music Academy, right? Which is helping music artists with full-time jobs learn how to produce their own music. So I've realized through all these experiences that at the end of the day, the way that you become successful in business is by, man, this just, it, I'm beating myself up. I'm going to tell you and what it is. And then I'm going to tell you why I'm beating myself up. You become successful by caring more about the people you're trying to serve than they care about themselves. The reason I'm beating myself up over that is because I've heard that before in my younger years and I thought it was bullshit. Like I had heard it and I was like, that's corny. I, I, I feel like I'm attaching Gary V. I don't even know if he ever said that specifically, but I'm going to attach him to it. I feel like I heard Gary V say that 
many times and thought, shut up, Gary, that's corny. That's such corny bullshit. Give me some real strategies, Gary. But like, nah, he was right. Now I'm in it doing it. And it's like, I've got the strategies. I've got the ads. I've got the the email marketing. Like I've got the strategies. I've got the operations. We've got all the things here. And at the end of the day, it's like, you could have everything right. You could have your branding down. You could have all your social media marketing super dialed in. Bro, I've got it dialed. Two YouTube videos a week easily that are high quality, I think. Maybe they could be higher quality, but, you know, I'm, I'm doing it. Tons of Instagram videos, dropping music, getting client results, getting sales, positive return on ad spend, follow-ups. Like, just, I've got all the shit, like, all the business stuff all dialed in. But at the end of the day, once you get to the end of the finish line, once you get to the finish line, you still need to walk past the finish line. And that last... That last part of the finish line that, that, that's going to either get you to finish the race or stop short is having conviction in the people you're trying to serve more than they have conviction in themselves. 